something like 13% of our GDP on coronavirus. <laughs> who are the beneficiaries? The pharmaceutical yeah, companies, the big tech companies, the people who were censoring us were getting all that cash. And the surveillance contractors and the security state apparatus, you know, which is uh, which is the biosecurity state apparatus, which is now getting all that cash. And now what they're doing is they're getting a you know, they're, they're saying, well, we have to do is we have to go out and look at every virus that can jump from nature and we got to inventory them and do genomic, genomic sequencing on all of them. There's 800 million of them. And so now they're going to have a pipeline for every two weeks. They can release another one of these babies and then they can say, oh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, the PCR test will find any of those viruses today in your system. Oh, you get hit by a car tomorrow or a train, they're going to be able to find monkeypox in you and then blame it on it. <laughs> Robert, what a wonderful business model, isn't it? I mean, I, we had a health minister in, in the Netherlands, and I, I used to, I mean, laugh, but I, you know, I, I, I was so annoyed by it. But he was, I mean, if you have the government selling your product for you, because that's what these people are doing. They were selling these vaccines for the for the pharmaceutical public, uh, you know, the, uh, Wall Street companies, big tech uh, companies, and and you had the gov governments of the world selling the product, and actually, you know, in most cases, manipulating the people into taking it. But yeah, I mean, they're they're manipulating them into taking it, and they're giving them <laughs> immunity from liability. And they're subsidizing the creation of it. I mean, listen, 